In the words of my boy Atlas, Go big or go home, kids. Today I'm bringing you the most important video I'll ever make on this channel. Welcome to LuckyMojo.com, and today we're discussing the top 10 racks in Fire Emblem. Let's go! Gorgeous. Number 10, Lin. Lin quickly became the original first mental waifu of most straight boys playing through Fire Emblem 7. And even though she didn't seem all that well endowed back then, she did in fact have some decent fan service with one particularly infamous animation, and it's even made its way into the more modern entries today. Lin was a waifu way back before we got most of the waifus. Talk about GBA era fan service, am I right? What are you looking at? Number 9, Aversa. Oh. Dark, twisted, and absolutely jaw dropping, it's clear why Gangrel made this total seductress his protege. Can she be my protege too? This is the smile of a man after spending time with Aversa. <laughs> She'd likely just suffocate you with her assets and toss you aside like the weeb trash that you are, but it's probably worth dying for, right? Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Number 8. Tiki. Yes. Tiki was never a character that people would have thought would appear in such a fan servicey form, but adult Tiki from Fire Emblem Awakening certainly got some extra development this time around. I mean, who wouldn't want the voice of God to whisper sweet nothings into their ears? Krom, my boy, you chose so, so wrong. Uh, what? Gorgeous. Number 7. Tharja. <laughs> While certainly not sporting the biggest set of the bunch, for her more petite size, Tharja rocks what she's got and her sense of Plegian mage style has certainly led to her looking like an Egyptian love goddess with that see-through outfit. There's a clear reason why she was voted as having the best body out of the Awakening crew. There's also Rajat to consider, but they're both so similar that it's like getting two busty waifus for the price of one. I'm not complaining. Since you're the Avatar too, they'd probably torture you in all the right ways. I'll be leaving the sign-up sheet in the description. Satisfied. Gorgeous. Number 6, Sonya. Naughty child. As tasteful as her Echo's redesign is, amidst the barrage of today's more boisterous babes, there's just no hiding the fact that Sonya's got it going on. I mean, just look at that figure. Like, actually, look at it. Backbreakingly beautiful. And let's not forget about her sisters either. Hey, Jetta, you think that could be arranged? Gorgeous. Number 5, Charlotte. <laughs> Charlotte is easily one of Fire Emblem's most stunning blondes. And while she's more preoccupied with the non-existent cash in your wallet after you spent it all on orbs and heroes, maybe, just maybe you'll have a shot with her ridiculous figure if you can manage to turn your life around and get a job. Few things in life top scantily clad and crushing skulls with an axe. Talk about motivation. Number 4, Loki. Don't enjoy this too much. Though very new to the series and without a lot of development before her reveal, aside from trolling Alphonse and Sharina, Loki has certainly power crept even the bustiest females in Fire Emblem and ensured that Waifu Emblem is still alive and kicking to this day. But since she can shapeshift, I'm not so certain that Loki is actually female. Like really, how would we know she ain't a trap, bro? So I can't give her the number one spot, even though appearance-wise, she's number one in my heart. Gorgeous. Number three, Camilla. I like where this is going. This one shouldn't be a shocker to anyone. There's a reason why Camilla is the fan service queen of Fire Emblem. She had to be on here and absolutely deserves her rightful spot in the top. Not only is her bust one of the most bountiful in the franchise, she's also got the nurturing characteristics down pat. It'd be a sin to not include Oniche. She even offers to tuck you in at night and kill anyone who would threaten you too. Perfect. Gorgeous. Number two. Kagero. I'm glad that we can spend time together. No one can deny that Kagero's incredibly well endowed. And as a ninja, that lends to a lot of opportunities for jiggle physics, which cannot be overlooked. But what's even more interesting about Kagero is that her bust is sort of an aspect of her design that doesn't come into play as often, or just isn't as focused on during her development or character traits. They're just sort of there, and not really all that in your face either. I mean, at least until recently. And the subtlety in this realm is what makes them, in my opinion, even more enticing. Like the cherry on top of something that you already liked. Finding out that cute ninja girl who likes to paint is also hella stacked. Me likey. They also seem a bit fuller than Camilla's, clenching her the number two spot on this list. And now, of course, what to watch Mojo Top 10 without some honorable mentions. Ursula. Though not originally very well endowed back in Fire Emblem 7, Ursula has come a long way. Two cup sizes, to be exact. And let me just say, I for one am proud that as a character, she's getting more development these days. Looking at her now is like a lightning bolt to the heart. Sigron. We can only assume what we can assume, but that certainly looks like quite the tight squeeze, am I right? Orochi. Sometimes a bit of a butterface, but she's definitely got some good stuff there and would have made it on this list if there just wasn't such strong competition. Sonya. 
probably the bustiest and meanest woman in Fire Emblem 7, but a little old for most 13 year olds the first time they played it, so Lin gets the win this time. Brunya. Brunya is like Echo's Sonya before we got Echo's Sonya. Personally, I can't wait till the day that we get to see how her cleavage gets upgraded with her Fire Emblem Heroes counterpart. Maybe that will end up earning her a clear spot on this list. Ophelia. How could I not at least mention Ophelia? While certainly not the most endowed in comparison to most of the entries on this list, Ophelia's rocking what she's got. And for those who think Camilla or Kagero are just too big, Ophelia's the perfect in-between. Perry. Obscured quite well by her armor, only the most curious have found her darkest secret. She's kind of a psycho though, so there's that. Gorgeous. Number one. As you very well know, there were a lot of tough contenders on this list. But even if you combine the racks of all the other incredibly busty ladies into the ultimate chesty waifu, they'd still pale in comparison to the majesty that is Geb's rack. The effortless level of cleavage that Geb has going on is merely wishful thinking to even the bustiest of Fire Emblem's femme fatales. Geb has been a fan favorite since he was introduced, and it's clear to see why. We just still need to get him into heroes. So next Choose Your Legends, you know who to vote for. That's it for this spectacular top 10 list. I hope you enjoyed it. If you think I missed a waifu, you can let me know in the comments below, but just know that you clearly have trash taste. Come at me, bro. Waifus for laifu. Subscribe to Lucky Mojo. Only waifu kings and queens hit that subscribe button. All your waifu are belong to me now. Robin. Corin. Camilla? What are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing, but I'm sure I already know. Bird watching? <laughs> so I suppose that means you're dragon watching. <laughs> <laughs>